Is it true that our Lord never condemns anyone, that he always forgives all sins? Let us meditate together with St. John to know the truth about forgiveness. Dear brothers and sisters, Salve Maria! In today's Gospel, St. John chapter 8, 1 to 11, we have a fact. Our Lord Jesus Christ is in a struggle with the Pharisees. And the fact that St. John narrates is that the scribes and Pharisees brought to our Lord Jesus Christ a case. They wanted to trap him. They wanted to find a reason to condemn our Lord. They brought a woman and they before our Lord and they said, this woman was caught in the act of adultery. Such woman in the law of Moses should be stoned. What happened? Our Lord looked around, looked at all of the, the scribes and Pharisees, and he asked them a question. Are you without sin? What about you and your sins? Do you deserve to be stoned in this or that sin circumstance? And of course, our Lord started to read their minds. And some of the other evangelists even say that he starts to write their sins, each one of their sins on the floor. And they start leaving, they start leaving. And he says to the woman, he says, has no one condemned you? She replied, no, Lord, no one, neither do I condemn you. She was willing to ask for pardon for her sin. She sinned out of weakness. But what about the person who sinned with her? They didn't bring the man. Where was the man? So you see that the scribes and Pharisees had set up a situation. She ended up being pardoned. The scribes and Pharisees were not pardoned because they didn't ask for pardon. And neither was the man pardoned. The only thing that we need to be pardoned is to ask for forgiveness. A few weeks ago, there were some heralds who went to preach a type of retreat, a spiritual encounter, and a little girl, 10, 11 years old, says, our family wants so much that grandpa goes to confession. Where do you have the examination of conscience? She took the list and she took it to her grandfather who had already been incentive, incentivated to go to confession. And he stayed for some times. He started to reading, but did not end up going to the priest to confess his sins. Why? Who knows? Maybe a grace. Let's ask for that grace, that we acknowledge our sins, that we make an examination of conscience, and then we look for a moment before God, before God's minister, and that we repent. Then we will not be condemned eternally. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever. Salve Maria.